fighting someone else. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learn you some filmmaking and learn you good. And today we're heading back to Avengers Infinity War because, well, did you see the views in the last episode? We've actually got a reporter in the field right now. Lawrence, what can you tell me about the views in that last episode? My God. Hmm, accurate. Now how about we look at some requests? So right in the Infinity War wave, a whole bunch of you asked for a Thanos portal effect. So that's what we're doing today, guys. Now in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actor on a green screen walking towards camera, or you can rotoscope them out. Once again, I default to the green screen because that's a hell of a lot easier than rotoscoping someone out. Now having said that about rotoscoping, a whole bunch of you have asked for a tutorial on that as well. Now in that case, I'd like to recommend Tobias from Surface Studios rotoscoping tutorial, which is right here. It's really, really good, and it's how I learned how to do it. You'll also need to head to filmlearning.com and grab the Thanos portal pack, which includes a rendered file of our portal animation, a lightning pass, the sound effect, and of course, the project file if you want to have a play with it in After Effects itself. Now before we jump into the effect, let's check out my example one more time. I'm pretty sure that wasn't me. Let's check it out again. Yeah, that's definitely not me. Let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are in After Effects. I've got my comp all set up and ready to go. So let's take a look at it. Firstly, we have our actor footage that I've already keyed out. And of course, we have a background layer. So let's head over to the project menu. And as you can see, I've already imported the Thanos portal download pack from filmlearning.com. This contains our particle animation and our lightning, as well as the project file for the portal build itself. Now gang, just be aware that I've included the project file for those of you who have Trapcode Particular and Video Copilot Saber plugins installed. Also, if you don't have the current version of After Effects being 2018, it won't work. I'll just quickly show you how I put this thing together because it's pretty interesting and shares some similarities to our disintegration effect that we did last week. Now our Trapcode Particular layer is set to Layer as a layer emitter, and our layer is this pre-comp right here. But if we open this up, you can see just how powerful Particular is, because this is not a pretty sight. So here it is, this awful, misshapen, crappy animation of a few solid layers and some fractal noise actually drives and colors the particles I've set up in the final comp. Pretty neat, huh? Anyway, if you'd like me to go a little bit more in depth on this and show you how to build this in particular, let me know down in the comment section. Now let's get back to our comp and into our effect for today because it's a pretty easy one once the particles are rendered out. Let's grab our portal animation and drop that in below our actor like so. Next, let's scrub along the timeline until the portal is open enough for our actor to physically walk through it. This looks like a nice spot right here, so let's grab our actor footage and drag it along to start right here. From there, we want to start playing with the actor layer itself because Thanos doesn't just go doing and pop into frame, he's revealed like he's walking out of a dark tunnel. So how do we do that? Easy actually. Let's select our actor layer, right click and pre-compose it, moving all those attributes into the new composition and let's open that up. From there, let's head up and add an adjustment layer. Next, we need to stay up there, head to effect, color correction and add ourselves a brightness and contrast. Now I'm gonna drop the brightness all the way down to minus 150 and then crank our contrast up to 100. Now if we head back to our original comp, you can see that even though we've maxed out our brightness and contrast, you can still see the actor. And that, well that just won't do. So let's head back and duplicate that effect, and then we'll remove the contrast like so. And then I'm going to duplicate it three more times until we get our actor in complete darkness. Next, well it's time to do a little masking to reveal our actor. So let's head up, grab the pen tool, and draw a funny looking shaped mask around the area you'd like to reveal first. I'm going to go with the Goomba on my chest right here. Let's then collapse the mask menu down and set the mask mode to subtract. I'll then hit F and feather that out way out to 150 pixels. Next, I'm going to set the mask expansion down to minus 200. This is going to give us this soft area of our actor coming out from the dark. So next step is to animate this. I'm firstly going to scrub forward on the timeline until my actor has stepped forward 
and then I'll head down and increase the mask expansion fully to remove our adjustment layer entirely. Now, I've got a giant head, so my number is 906 pixels. Next, let's head to the first frame of our actor footage and hit the stopwatch on mask path. We can then move the mask's position to match our actor's movements, like so. Now, each time I take a step, I add a keyframe here, and then I'm gonna slightly adjust the shape of the mask to reveal more of the actor. So for instance, as my actor moves forward, I want the face and chest coming out of the dark first. So we'll adjust the shape of the mask to do that. Now guys, feel free to move back and forth between this comp and your final shot to make sure your mask is animating the way you'd like. The end result should look like this. Nice. Now we've got that done. Let's head back to the final comp and keep going. So we've got our actor walking in from the darkness in a faux depth pass sort of way. But as you can see, he still kind of pops in on this frame. Here he is, and here he isn't. So let's fix that. Let's head to that first frame of our actor's footage right here, hit T to bring up opacity, and crank it down to zero. I'm then gonna hit the stopwatch, and then I'm gonna skip ahead, say, 24 frames, or one second, and crank it all the way up to 100. If we check out a preview, that looks a lot smoother now. Next, I want to add a bit of blue hue to my actor before he leaves the ring of the portal to better sell the illusion that he's walking out of something dark and into the light of another place. So let's select our actor layer, head up to effect, color correction and grab photo filter. I'm going to set the density to around 40%. Let's then set it to a cooling filter from the drop down menu, this one will do, and hit the stopwatch. I'll then scrub forward until my actor is a fair distance from the portal and then I'm going to crank that down to zero. If we check out a preview, you can see our actor steps away from the portal and a subtle color change occurs. Like the light from the room environment has changed the color balance on our actor. Okay guys, last step, and this one is totally optional. I've hand animated some lightning sparks that can be added to the portal, and whether or not you add them is totally up to you. These are also 100% editable in the project file, but I have them rendered out in the download pack. For more info on animating lightning using Sabre, be sure and click on the card on screen right now and that'll take you to our custom lightning episode of FilmLearn. Now guys, I'm gonna use these things, so I'll drop them in under our actor layer and above our portal layer, like so. Now me personally, I think they stick out a little too much, so to blend them better, I'm gonna head up to Effect, Transition and grab a Gradient Wipe. I'm gonna set the Gradient layer to our portal, set the softness to 100%, and then I'll set the transition completion to around 40%. That's much better. I'm then gonna make them pop a little by duplicating them and setting the top layer's transfer mode to screen like so. And then we'll head up to effect, blur and sharpen, and let's add a fast box blur. All we need to do here is increase the amount to around 17. Now, if we check out a preview, that my friends is another effect mm, done. And as I said, gang, if you want me to cover building the portal animation, Please let me know down in the comment section. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. <laughs> Just busting your chops. Expecting someone else? So guys, that's my take on the Thanos portal effect from Avengers Infinity War. I know it's not 100% screen accurate, but it does look pretty cool and it's pretty easy to work with too. Now before I let you go guys, I just wanted to let you know that Audio Jungle, uh, you know, the one that makes that Audio Jungle. Yeah, that sound, is actually having a 30% sale off over 200 tracks. There's a couple of links down in the description and who knows, you might click one of those links, find a track that you really like, pick it up and you'll help support film learning and you'll get that cool track as well. So it's win-win. But for now guys, that is my time. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the previous video, why not smash that like button and show me some love? And if you are new here, why not hit that subscribe button and help us on our way to 100,000 subscribers. We're at 96,240 odd now, and I'd love for you to join our family. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single film learning episode. I've got two other episodes right over here. One of those is probably our last Infinity War effect. I've got a playlist right up here. And I've got my social media crap above my head with the Facebook and the Twitter. And until I see you next time, guys, keep learning.